So hi guys, uh, today we're having a look at Crazy Toys Deadpool. Uh, we all know what these are, <coughs> no coughs, but is it worth the money? Let's have a look. So we've got the usual kind of box there, nice artwork on the front, Crazy Toys written on the side, and Deadpool picture on the back. Deadpool is an up-and-coming American superhero film based on the Marvel comic character of the same name. It tends to be the eighth instalment in the X-Men film series, which is not really true. The film is directed by Tim Miller, with a screenplay by Paul Miller, Ryan Reynolds, and all. After being subjected to experiments which leave him with new abilities, Wade Wilson hunts down the man with who, who nearly destroyed his life. Oh, 14 and over. Oh, damn. Yeah, so. That's the box. So we pop the box open as so. Oh, no, it's got, got artwork in the lid. Ah, uh, we have Deadpool. We take it off. Now, I will be honest, I've taken this out of the box to have a look at it. My mate, Jordan, who has loaned me this, has taken it out of the box. There he is in a bag. Take that out. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Jody. Um, artwork in the back of the box. And there we go. So, he has a Crazy Toys base. There we go. A stand with a bit on the top. And here's the man himself. There we go. That's in well. Do you know what? It's got all sorts of other bits that feel loose as well, so. Will he stand up on his own? He will stand up on his own if I don't knock the table. So, here we go. It's not really Deadpool the movie, is it? It's Deadpool, like, from the comics. It's obviously a locked in figure. Guns are locked in. You do get two katanas. Where to keep them? Nope. That would have been nice if there had been something to slide it down the back of there. But, one in that hand. Okay, one kind of loosely in that hand. Now the great thing about this is, these go for like under 30 quid. And if you're looking at real ones of these, I think the real one of this would be a statue, not actually an action figure. But I don't know, because his head looks like it should be movable. But if you think, like, the paint doesn't quite go into the edges there, I suppose. But you see, the great thing about these is, you've paint, you paid 30 quid for it. You can paint it. Yeah, people like me and Jordan, who have an ability to paint things, can adapt these and make them into other things. And really, all you're going to do is stand this on a shelf. So, what's the difference between hundred and something quid and like under fifty quid? Let's see, there's the. Let's loosen the camera. I dropped the sword on the floor. There's his face. Take that sword out of his hand. That one, that one, that one, come out. There we go. I mean, the swords. Quite nice. Yeah, so there's chest in chest details. It's like a fashion show. There we go around there. Mm -hmm. His ankle feels like it's loose. The belt, the, like the logo on it. The pouches, I mean the detailing's there. Yeah, I mean it's got some really nice details. It's got colours on the gun. I mean yes, it's not movie Deadpool. Like it kind of says it should be. But who cares? It's Deadpool. It's Captain Deadpool. 
Oh, sorry. No, just Deadpool. It's just fun. And that's what these things are. They're not meant to be expensive toys. It may be ruining the industry. But maybe the actual makers of these things, like Hot Toys and things like that, they're the ones ruining the industry by charging so damn much for these things. Yeah? I've got an imposter joker to look at soon. Um, and I've got some other Hot Toys knockoffs and things like that coming up. So please stay tuned to the channel for those. There we go. Is this worth buying? I'd say yes. Yes, some of the paint apps are a bit off and things like that. Like that not, but People like me, I'll just get some... I can see it from here. I've got some silver paint down there. I'll just paint that little brush. Done. I'll detail it up. Well, I'll detail this one up because this one ain't mine. Like I say, this is my mate Jordy's. Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> so, go on, Dice. What do you think? Is it worth the money? Would you buy one? I know I will. So if you've enjoyed this, please, some subscriptions at the bottom. Let me know that you like this kind of video and I'll do some more of them. Um, some likes, some thanks, some chocolate biscuits. Yeah, the usual stuff. I hope you all have a great day, a great night, and I'll see you all soon.